Um, relationships are really key to growing your fan base. And, um, you know, that's why they, you know, I've heard people talk about like, and I did this myself when I started my gallery, I started looking at who do I know? I'm like, well, I know friends, I know family, the artists that I was working with had friends and family. Those were my initial relationships in my business. Then I started expanding those relationships and finding people and creating relationships with them. So consider that when you're having these conversations, when you're sending out emails, when you're sending out newsletters, you wanna try to create, um, I call it relational selling, you're creating relationships with people. All of you in this arena with us are in a relationship with this community. Um, Missy and I are here, you're here with your peers, you're asking questions, you're sharing. We have created a relationship. Um, I love seeing your names pop up. Hopefully you love what we're teaching and doing on our side. This is our relationship. And um, part of that is through um, sharing, through stories, and through being generous with what you're offering. So consider that your sales can increase if you can shift from scarcity and fear to how can I give value? What can I share that people would enjoy or would want to know about? Um, how can I make this person's experience of looking at my newsletter more exciting? How can it get more exciting for me? So these are really great things to think about um, as you're thinking about sales. I was just reading a stat that someone published that um, they were saying that 41% of your current customer base are your sales for life. That Missy, I don't know if you've heard this, like people love buying from one person or having, they call it a one-stop shop. And I've had this experience with my gallery where I've had clients that they buy and buy and buy every year, every year. They love me, they love the gallery, they love the artist. So they might have 15, 20 works of art. That's that 41%. So some of you have a, like a lot of great people in your life that um, hopefully you're communicating with them. Those are the easiest sales to make. They're warm sales, they know you. Uh, in the case of Deborah Cher, this person has been on her list for 16 years. She finally bought. So how can you turn those people that have been on your list and haven't bought into clients? How can you turn them into clients? And part of that is creating the relationship with them. And if all you have is an email address, let me tell you this, I can take anyone's email I can start dialoguing with them and I can turn them into a customer and a relationship. Uh, it takes time. I'm not saying it's gonna be a fast track to get there, but you have to start somewhere. And some of you are scratching your heads, but you might have a list with a couple hundred people on it. What if you had 200 people on your email list? What if you started really working through your list and talking to them more personally? Um, I think the percentage turnaround is usually around 10% of a list you could turn into a client. So how would you like to have two sales this week? Wouldn't that be fun? So these are your relationships that are sitting in your um, inboxes and in your CRMs or your notebooks or wherever you're housing your list. So get to work on your relationships.